indefinite integrals. Just like with all operations and their inverse operations, the process of finding antiderivatives of a function is called integration. The notation uses the same symbol as that of a definite integral because the antiderivative of a function is also called the indefinite integral. Therefore, the indefinite integral of f of x dx is equal to capital F of x plus c if and only if f, capital F prime of x is equal to f of x. In the next lesson, we'll see why these two terms are so related. For now, we will practice finding indefinite integrals. It is also important to note the following relationship, that the derivative with respect to x of the indefinite integral f of x dx is equal to f of x. Derivation and integration are inverse operations of each other. Therefore, one will undo the other. Integrals involving exponential and natural log functions. The indefinite integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c and the indefinite integral of a raised to the x power dx is equal to a to the x divided by the natural log of a plus c. The absolute value bars in the natural log of absolute value of x are mandatory because no matter what the number e is raised to, the result will always be positive. Let us discuss indefinite integrals as they equal antiderivatives. When we are given integrals without upper and lower limits, the question is really asking us to give the antiderivative. The only catch is that we must include the plus c constant with each antiderivative. This represents the fact that any constant could be added to the original function.